In this video we're going to look at HTML character encoding and why we should define a doc type uh, within our markup when we mark up a page. Now you can see we've got an example here of a sentence or a couple of sentences and basically uh, we can see that we're trying to use a specific character and this isn't being represented very well so human readability is affected here. So this part here uh, it should be an E with a little accent above it. So the reason this has happened is because um, we haven't defined a character, a specific in character encoding for this page, and therefore the full character set's not being represented. Now what we actually need to do is go in uh, and head over to our markup, and we need to actually define a, uh, a meta tag. So we'll go ahead and create a meta tag here and we'll use the char set attribute here to go ahead and specify the character set. Uh, and we're going to choose UTF-8. Uh, the reason being is that UTF-8 allows for um, all characters in the Unicode character set to be displayed. So let's go ahead and do this now. So we need to go and say meta char set equals, and then we give this a value. And in this case, it's just going to be UTF-8. So you can go ahead and look up more about UTF-8 or just character encoding in general if you don't quite understand. But basically this is going to allow this accented, uh, accented character to be displayed properly. So if we go ahead and refresh now, you can see that that's now displayed properly. And this will be the case with different character sets as well. So depending on what you're actually displaying, this value might need to change. But this is just a quick tip on why you need to set a character set for your page and how it makes a difference when you're trying to represent as many characters as possible.